Hello Grade 9 Learners! In this video, I will give you more cases of quadratic equations and we will solve them by extracting square roots. Remember, not all quadratic equations can be solved by extracting square roots. And you have learned that if a quadratic equation can be written in the form x squared equals k, then we can easily solve that by extracting square roots. Now let us consider this equation here. So we have here x squared minus 3x is equal to 16 minus 3x. The question is, can we write this or can we transform this in the form x squared equals k. Let us see. So observe that we need to isolate the constant term 16. So we need to eliminate negative 3x. And to do that, we will apply the addition property of equality. So we just add 3x here. And we also add 3x here. So if we will add 3x both sides, what will happen or what will be the resulting equation? So this will be cancelled because negative 3x plus 3x is 0. So the term here will be x squared is equal to, so if we will add this, negative 3x plus 3x is also cancelled. So the resulting equation will be x squared equals 16. Observe that the resulting equation is now in the form x squared equals k. So therefore, we can now solve it by extracting square root. So, we'll have x is equal to positive negative square root of 16. And what is square root of 16? It's 4. Therefore, x is equal to positive negative 4. And this will be our roots or solutions. Now, how about if we have this one? Suppose we have here 2x squared minus 8 is equal to 7x. Now, I would like you to observe this equation. Do you think can we write it in the form x squared equals k? Can we transform this in that form. As you will observe, we cannot eliminate the linear term. So we have the linear term here, 7x. And if we will subtract 7x here, and subtract 7x here, so we still have the linear term. So since the linear term cannot be eliminated, so this one cannot be written in the form x squared equals k. So what does it mean? This one cannot be solved by extracting square roots. What's the reason? We cannot write it or we cannot transform it in the form x squared equals k. How about if we have this case? Suppose we have here the quantity x minus 4 squared is equal to 49. Observe that the left side of our equation, we have the square of binomial. So definitely, if we will expand this, it's not in the form x squared equals k. But remember, if you are going to observe this is already in the form x squared equals k. So, our k is 49. And our x squared is this. This will be our x. So, since this is already in the form x squared equals k, we can use extracting square root. How are we going to do that? Okay. So, from here, x, the quantity x minus 4 is squared is equal to 49, you may extract the square roots of both sides. So, since 
we are getting the square root of this. So we just cancel it out. Remember, if a square, and you got the square root of a square, just cancel it out. So what will remain here is x minus 4. And applying the square root property, we will have positive, negative, square root of 49 is 7. So that will be your resulting equation. Since what we are getting are the solutions or roots or the values of x, so we try to solve it further. We try to eliminate the negative 4 here. We add 4 here. And we add 4 here. So, this will be cancelled. Then we will have x is equal to, we will have positive 7, negative 7, then plus 4. Since we have two roots here, positive 7 and negative 7, and we add 4, so by splitting it, your first root will be positive 7 or 7 plus 4. The answer is 11. And that will be your first root. Second root will be negative 7 and then plus 4. Then you will get negative 7 plus 4. The answer is negative 3. Therefore, your roots are 11 and negative 3. You may check it by replacing these roots in x here. Let's try so, 11. So, x is 11. 11 minus 4. The answer is 7. Square it, 49. So, it satisfies. How about negative 3? If x is negative 3, so negative 3 minus 4. The answer is negative 7. And if you square negative 7, then the answer is still 49. So, therefore, these are our roots or solutions.